Tonight, the Jim Hudson Foundation has made a very sizable donation to the American Heart Association in order to have AEDs in parks and recreation centers in the area. News 19's Shirley Garzone has the story. Heart disease is still the number one killer of all Americans. We shared earlier that 23,000 youth will suffer a cardiac arrest this year. Crystal Kirkland is the executive director of the American Heart Association in the Midlands. The organization received a donation of $25,000 to install 10 automatic electronic defibrillators in parks in Columbia and Lexington. Six of those are going to the city of Columbia with parks and recreation and the additional four will be going to Lexington County. So they'll be visible in our parks and in the event of an emergency, we will have every protocol in place. The AEDs are used to reestablish a heartbeat in sudden cases of cardiac arrest. The AEDs are now so advanced that they will tell you where to put the probes, when to press the button, and kind of really walk you through it and should make a very simple process for anyone involved. Park leaders say this is a proactive measure they are taking to keep community members safe. This will give the additional reassurance of um, citizens when they visit our park that it's, it's safe and they're in, they're in good hands. The donation was on behalf of the Jim Hudson Foundation. We thought this would be a great way to partner with them uh, to provide 10 AEDs uh, not only the 10 AEDs, but training with the AEDs and how to use those as well as CPR training, which we know is vital if someone goes into cardiac arrest. We want to make sure that um, citizens, when they visit our park, that they are free to enjoy the experience and know that they're safe in our parks and recreation facilities. Shelly Garzon, News 19, WLTX. And tonight, the American Heart Association says the devices have been ordered and should be in the parks within the next several weeks.